<laughs> That's our little Coco. So they uh, went to the nearby local uh, chapel where they all, where mom always takes the kids every Sunday. And ever since we've had this little pup for the last two and a half years, they've always put him in his cage right here in the in the living room, or else in that little micro cage in mom's bedroom. And they've always left him alone. Uh, someone has always been here because. I've been living with my parents for the last two years at least, so. And he's always been running around on his own and stuff. Well, this little turkey, I opened up the front door as usual, which is that white light because of the light coming in from the camera and everything. It overexposes uh, everything out where it's sunny. And uh, anyway... So I open up the front door as usual, I pop up the screen uh, opening just a little bit so my cat can get in and out. And this little turkey, he bounds down those five steps like he had four legs. I shit you not. <laughs> He's not helpless, jeez. I mean, he's got three legs, yes, but oh goodness. He bounded down the steps on his uh, uh, left front leg, <laughs> stood up and poked his nose out the uh, open panel that was <laughs> yelping for mom. It's mom the one he pines for. Wherever, Whenever mom takes off, he's always howling whenever she's gone. She can be sitting, uh, we can be sitting in the pickup truck and mom will hop out and immediately he goes ballistic. So he's howling and he's wanting to go after her. And when she's standing outside uh, of the pickup, he's he's at the closest window barking and yapping and wanting to get out. So and he's not happy until she's got a hold of him. So <laughs> left hand two chords instead of uh, three chords C and G and then the standard right hand uh, three chord position mirroring the left hand except two uh, two uh, two fingers so. or the uh, uh, thumb and the middle finger C and uh, E and C and G. Or using the finger and the, uh, uh, using thumb and ring finger, which is C, 
and up so and one and five one and five and one and two three four uh, one and four for simplicity's sake starting from the left to the right position with the fingers one two three four and five and one and two and three and four and five so one and five finger or one three and five finger one three and five or one and five or one and three or one and four one finger per key and white keys just to start off with so you practice like this for ages and ages and ages until your fingers get all used to it you move A through G you can skip however you want to one two three one two three four uh, one two three crossover one two three four however you want to you can get all nice and fancy and fast and do whatever and then you get to the chords a chord uh, a and e or a c e b d uh, f and c e g and d f a and, and so on standard three chord position pretty soon you do uh, just two finger chords or you can do two finger chords with the uh, middle finger so uh, three finger chords or else break it down and do uh, two fingers boring stuff simple stuff or uh, one key and then two three and four you don't necessarily have to use the uh, one key skip a key one key chord you can uh, use uh, one key skip two skip the third and hit the fourth key in any one of these a through G configuration and have your chord you can have your chord and your melody too hey I'm just kidding so one two five one two five one two five doing all of the A through G two finger positions or using one three and five using standard chords A through G Advanced chords will have you using the uh, will have you using the black keys as well, and you can use them how use them however you want to. Eh. Anyway, that's all I'm doing. And he finished howling and now he went back into the uh, back room. First finger, fifth finger, and bouncing around between the first, second, and third fingers. Easy peasy stuff. Anyone can do this. One, five, one, one, five, one.
you run around and experiment and move, you'll find that sometimes the keys just doesn't sound right. Kind of like this. The transition between one group and, and, the, and the, the next group below it. Kind of sort of wouldn't sound right. So you just uh, uh, learn to play it by ear. Uh, you figure out for yourself which uh, key combinations, which uh, chord combinations, or chord combinations, and uh, free range, uh, freestyle playing versus uh, chords, or whichever hand you're you're gonna do it. You you anchor on a few chords and play them over and over again. You do not deviate at all. Uh, from the rhythm or from however they play and then the other hand you, you learn on your own to practice to do free ranging free motion and so you you you'll figure out how to do these things on your own so uh, one key uh, one finger five finger one finger two three Sliding down um, one key set to the left, playing the same thing again. Sliding, sliding to the left one key, playing the same thing. To me, this doesn't sound right, and it's this middle key. But anyway, that's just me. Somebody else, it probably wouldn't bother them. Sliding to the left again, same thing. One and five. Uh, one, two, and three. Ah, that sounds great. I love it. could play this all day but most people wouldn't want to hear it all day so let's uh, slide down to the left again C and G C and G and uh, C E and F finger C D and D and C and G easy peasy stuff
Anyway, you kind of get the picture. I don't have a little bracket a holder to hold the camera over my, uh, like some of the professionals would. Otherwise, I'd do that and play for you. But anyway, you get the picture. simple stuff you keep practicing like this you start to plateau after a while it starts to sound the same then you start switching this is the one and five hand this is the free range hand so be awkward because you're used to this hand going all over the place and this hand being rock steady. It's gonna take you some time to switch hands. Earlier today, <clears throat> earlier today, I didn't quite know. Uh, I went to pick him up by the scruff of the neck. You know, you always, right between the shoulder blades on a cat or a small dog, you grab that bit of fur and tug up and you can lift them up and then put your hand underneath, underneath their abdomen. Uh, on him, nah, it's a big no-no because his surgery to have his complete right arm, his paw, and his arm removed also included the shoulder uh, structure and the underlying scapula. They had to go uh, right against his ribcage on the right hand side uh, to remove his scapula. The staples and stitches and stuff, uh, I kind of grabbed on to this morning when I went to pick him up. Oh my God, he was, he was yelping and yipping. He turned on me too when he grabbed my, uh, he grabbed my fingers with his little mouth, but he didn't bite me. He should have bitten me. In fact, he probably should have taken my finger off. But uh, when I let him go, then he let me go. So, and this happened so fast. That's my stupidity. I, I didn't mean to hurt him that way. So, eh, he doesn't trust me right now. So.
Okay, so I'm gonna uh, commit this to YouTube. Oh my goodness! Look who's on the move! Oh! Coco! It's not the end of come on, it's not the end of the world. Mama and them are at church, she's gonna come back. Jeez! <clears throat> You're much younger than Mama, but I can promise you that if uh, she dies before you do, uh, I'm going to make sure that you go into the casket with her. Because you love her, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. <laughs> okay.